In the last video, we looked at how we could add fields to our forms, so now let's take a look at how we can modify form controls. We've already done that several times by doing things such as changing the font color of labels and the size of text boxes, um, and now we're going to look at some other controls that we might need to modify. So if you don't already have the Quest Travel C database open, you'll want to open that and you'll want to make sure that you have the tours entry form opened up. So I'm going to make sure that I have that done. And then I'm going to click the view button and I'm going to make sure that I'm in layout view. So I'm going to switch my view to layout view. And if property sheet on the right side of the screen is not selected, I would want to click on it to open up the property sheet. And the property sheet shows us all of the properties for the selected item. So for example, right now, the item that I have selected is the tour number text box. So in my property sheet, I see all the properties for that tour number text box. So right now, as you can see that um, the decimal places is just automatically determined. There's not a set amount. Um, there's no back color, it's just the background, the border style is solid, and so on. So we're going to look at how we can make some modifications to our different labels and controls. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, I and once I've selected the combo box for category, I'm going to look at my property sheet and I'm going to move over to the data tab and it might be already selected and if it's already selected then that's good that's one click that you don't have to make and what I'm looking for here in my data tab is this default value and default value just means that it's going to be there automatically so if um, a user does not select anything in category the default value is what will show automatically if a selection is not made and I want to change or actually add in this case a default value to that category combo box so in the default value box I'm gonna type adventure and I'm gonna press enter and the thing that I want you to notice here is that Access does a lot to help us out with syntax or the rules of entering property values. So in this case, Access added those quotation marks around Adventure for us. And that indicates that the default entry is text instead of numbers or values. And if Access did not do that for us automatically, then those quotation marks are a part of the syntax that we would have to remember to enter. So it's great that Access does do that for us automatically. Now as you look through the different tabs here, you'll see that some of the changes that I can make um, are things that I could actually do from the ribbon. So a lot of the time, you know, sometimes these changes such as aligning text and font size, you might just do from the ribbon because you're used to that and it's easier for you and that's fine, but you do need to know that you can also make those changes from the property sheet. So I'm going to jump over to the format tab on the property sheet and this time I'm going to work with the tour number label. So I'm going to click on it and from here under format I am going to click on home and from my ribbon I'm going to choose a line left but before I choose a line left from the ribbon I'm going to scroll down and you might have to scroll down a pretty good bit and I'm looking for text align here in my format tab of the property sheet. So here we can see text align and right now it's set to general. And I've already selected tour number over here so look at what happens when on the ribbon I select left align. It does align that number one to the left but it also changes in the property sheet my text align section to left. So you can see the changes that you make in the ribbon are going to be reflected in your property sheet. Now that I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tour name label and I'm going to hold shift and as I hold shift on my keyboard I'm going to click on each of the other labels and that lets me select them all at once. 
And since they're all selected now, now when I click left align, that is going to al um, align all of those to the left without me having to go through and um, do it individually. And I could do the same thing if I'm following the instructions in the book. Select them all. And if I am following the instructions in the book, it's going to actually ask me to right align the labels. And you can see the difference that that makes. And that's also going to be reflected in that property sheet. So when I'm done making the changes to my form controls that I need to make, I can simply click Save on the Quick Access Toolbar. And then I can click the View button to switch to Form View. And if I'm following along in the book, I'm going to select New Record. And I'm going to add a new record. And once I have added all the information for my new record, I can cl simply click Save again. And that completes Unit C, Modifying Form Controls.